Good morning. It's Monday morning, and we are blessed to be with you here today. Trust that you're having a great Monday. I know it's Monday, you know, but uh, but uh, anyway, the Lord's with us on Monday. Is just like He is on every other day. That's Praise correct. God. Amen. That's right. So today, the title of our devotion is "What Is My Faith Costing Me?" What is my faith costing me? The scripture from Luke chapter 14, verse 27 from the New Living Translation says this, If you do not carry your own cross and follow me, you cannot be my disciples. You know, uh, Marcia, we live in America, and it's really easy for us to be Christians here. You know, every time... Compared to other places. To other places, right? I I think about Bishop E.C. and about Nigeria and how their country is torn between Muslim and Christianity and uh, the people that are being, the Christians uh, that are being um, kidnapped and then killed and persecuted, persecuted, things like that. And uh, even the government there uh, is persecuting Christians. So in America, we, we... we live in a country where we are still free to share the gospel, you know, mm-hmm. um, and uh, we have that privilege to do that. You know, uh, one of the things that I think is we take for granted, we take for granted what God has done for us in producing or uh, uh, purchasing this salvation for us. Mm-hmm. And, the, and I think when we take something for granted, we do it. We have it all the time. We take it for granted, don't no, we? You know, we, do. we just assume it's always going to be there. right. And uh, it's like uh, you know, I read the story there in Luke uh, where Mary takes this precious vial of ointment, and um, she kneels before Jesus, and she begins to wash his feet with this ointment. And the backstory of that is Jesus is invited to dinner. When you came because they wore sandals, their feet were dirty in the dusty roads. And one of the things that the the uh, person that invited you always your did, your host, always had someone there to wash your feet, clean clean your feet. And no one did that. It was a it was a put down on Jesus, you know. And so Mary took this precious vial of oil and washed his feet this, and then dried them. This is them. Mary Magdalene. Yes, it is. Yes. And uh, and then immediately uh, the guy that thinks about money says, wait a minute, she's wasting this oil, you know, and all, all of this. But she understood how precious this man was That's right. and how valuable he was she to She wanted them. to minister to him. Yes, she was. wanted to minister. And, and uh, Jesus makes this statement in this because he's talking about his, his death and his resurrection. He says it in uh, John 20, 12, 24, I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat is planted in the soil and dies, it remains alone, but its death will produce many new kernels, a plentiful harvest in our lives. And it goes on to say, they that love their life uh, uh, will, will lose it, you know. So we have to be willing to say, you know, Lord, here, here I am. It's not my life. I've, you've saved me. You've brought me in into the kingdom of God, and now I need to allow my faith to produce something for the kingdom of God. Amen. And that's what it is. It's not just the spiritual, it's the physical as well. When you give your life to God, you're going to to not allow your flesh to rule you, you're going to allow your spirit man to rule you, to serve him, to do the things he needs you to do. We don't serve him so that he'll love us, because he loves us whether we do anything or not. Right. But he, but we do pleasing yes, more, I think, we when we yes. see it or doing his work. Amen. Uh, you know, yeah. I think uh, what we have to ask ourselves is, are we willing to pay a price for being a mm-hmm. Christian? And yeah. and you know, again, go back. We we're not being put to death. We're not being thrown in jail. So, what is the cost to many of us as a Christian in really portraying Christ in our life, or or purporting Christ in the so uh, the society we live in today, mm-hmm. well, well, people get mad at you. They they won't be your friend anymore. They don't you. want to be around you. They criticize they you. Judge you know, you they, as whether yes. you're a good Christian or yes. not. They try to put you down. And, and so many times we we won't stand up for the truth because yeah. we're afraid of the rejection that we'll get right. from that. So isn't that a cost though? That's a, that cost. a cost. And we need to understand that there is a cost. If we're going to be the disciples of Christ, there is a cost 
uh, that will have to and, be rendered and each one of those. putting your flesh under, too, like we talked about just a minute ago. It's, it's being a willingness to turn everything you are, everything you have, uh, over to God and be willing to... That's a sacrifice. Yes, you're it talking is, about. yeah. That uh, it's not just the attack of others. Sometimes it's that your own flesh doesn't want to do what God wants you to do. Yeah. And you have to put that under. Yeah, you know, I mean... Yeah, even Jesus was persecuted, and so for us to think we will get out of this world, this fallen world we live in, without being persecuted for our faith, and that's why he says, uh, if you're not willing to take up your cross and follow me, yes, and so is are are we greater than him? Do we? No. He suffered persecution, rejection. He went about doing he good. Was our, he was our example. Yes how to come against the persecution that's coming our way. How to deal with it. Do, how to deal with how yeah. he dealt, yeah. dealt with it. Amen. Praise God. Well, today I just want to encourage you, be the Christian that God has called you to be. Take up your cross, follow after Jesus in every area of your life, in every area of your life. We just uh, uh, thank God for you doing that. God bless Amen. you. We love you. Have a blessed week this week. God bless. I gotta go get a clean